Welcome back, everyone. Um, this is another episode of our RPG series. In today's episode, we're going to do quite a bit of stuff. Um, the first thing we're going to do, um, I'm going to just quickly go over some few new assets that I downloaded. Um, and as always, they're always in the link in the, in the description down below. So check that out. Um, I will also start uploading to a GitHub and also download the project. It is going to be updated per part that is released, I think. Um, so you can always download that as well. I don't recommend you just download it and use it to copy. Um, I really do recommend you just like try to learn as as we go along. Um, okay, so we have the RPG sound effects. So we're going to be using this in this episode. Let's close that. Um, and then I downloaded this asset pack for the inventory later on. We're not going to use it just yet, but um, it is good to have. Um, just keep in mind, I actually did... If you middle click this or yeah, open new link a new tab, uh, you can save this as well. So I've saved this as well to use as reference kind of for the for our inventory. So let's close that um, because downloading this will just give us this part, which is fine. Either way, let's close that. And then I've also downloaded um, this RPG icon pack. Um, and let's close this. And just to keep in mind, I actually did organize it just a bit. Um, I've created these different things, uh, weapons, misks, etc. Just organize it a little bit so it's not all in one folder, um, which again, you can download from the GitHub if you want to do that. It's not too well organized, obviously. There's like a bunch of different armors, but um, for now, this is fine. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add an audio player. Um, so the difference between all three of these is obviously that this is 2D, this is 3D, and then this is non-positional. So it doesn't matter where you are, it just will play. So this and this are kind of the same. For us, we can just use auto stream player. So we'll just use this. And this will be our sword effect. And then what we can do is RPG sound effects, battle, and you can choose whatever you want. You can choose swing two, and just to test it, you can do that. Swing three. I don't think you guys can actually hear it, but um, you can just test it by doing that. Let me actually turn on audio. Let me see. Yeah, you guys should be able to hear it now. So if I now go into my player, um, I'll mention this in a second as well, but uh, now if I go into my attack, um, I can do get node, um, sword effect. That's not what I want, sword effect, there we go. Dot play, and then we can just play that, or play. And then every time I attack, it now plays the attack sound, which you guys, I think, should be able to hear. Um, one other thing I've added is uh, I've gone ahead and I just added a hit effect to the monster as well, because it just felt kind of strange not being able to take damage. The only time we take damage is up here, which felt kind of weird. So now we can hit them, do damage, and then they can hit us and do damage. So Awesome. Let's also, um, and so now you know how to add sound effects. So you can add that to add different sound effects throughout the game. You can add whatever you want. There's a bunch of different ones. One last thing we'll do is we'll add a click effect. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a scene, audio stream player on its own. We're going to call this click. But you save this into global, global folder. Oh, it already exists. I'm not actually going to overwrite it. I'm going to go to it. I'm going to close that. So yeah, I've already created it. And in this click, I've uses I've used the interface sound. So if you go down here to interface, you can use whichever one you want. I think I used the first one. I think that was the nicest one. Yeah, so if I play it, it's just like a little click sound. And then I've auto-loaded that. So I've auto-loaded it. There it is, click. And then in our main menu, what we can do is we can call click dot uh, play. And then every time I want to play a click sound, I can just do call that thing right so click dot play now whenever i go out here i can quit and it doesn't give me the sound effect because i quit but if i play it plays that sound and i can add rest for options and then all i'll do in the options is i'll play the sound effect so now we know it works awesome um what we can do just to make this smoother is function dot play click we can do if self dot 
uh, plain equals false, then play. So now, this just makes it a slightly smoother in the sense that it won't play on top of the sounds. The sound is very short anyway, so you might not be able to do that, but yeah. So now it's a bit smoother in the sense that it'll only play if the sound is not done playing, or if it is done playing. Um, and you can do the same thing for the skeleton. So uh, wait, let's just do that now. So let's do copy that, go to, where is it? I'm blind. It should be, oh, not on our skeleton. I should our player. Open up our player again. Go to sound effect, except it's not going to be that. It's going to be sound. There we go. And then let's play. Ooh, interesting. That's not working. Okay, I don't know. Um, it's strange that that's actually not working. So. Anyways, um, yeah, you can figure that out later. The sound doesn't really matter uh, as long as it works. Um, let's close this for now and then close that. And then what else was I going to do? Um, I also wanted to add a dash effect. So let's have a new input. Let's create input dash. And for now we'll pass. And then let's add that to our input map. So we have dash. And then for dash, we're actually going to I'm gonna switch it. I'm gonna make this Z and I'm gonna actually switch this to X. So tack will be X now. So dash will be Z. And then when I dash, um, I wanna dash. So let's figure that out. How are we gonna dash? How do we wanna dash? So what we wanna do um, is we're going to have to create a new sprite. And our new sprite is going to be our player. So we're gonna have to find our player, which is an art. Tap here, boom, 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 character, and we'll take our walking. And what we'll do is we'll do, we'll name this to dash. Um, we'll put this in our player folder, put it right there. What to do four, four. The actual frame I don't think matters too much actually, but what we're going to do is we're going to add a script to this. Um, we'll do built in, it's fine. And we're going to do a function process. We're going to take our position dot x. We're going to subtract three every every delta. We're going to modulate dot a equals lerp. Modulate dot a zero zero and one. And then if modulate dot a is smaller than 0 0.1, we will cube free. So what this is going to do is it, it almost creates a tween effect. Um, what is this? Position, do I not spell position, right? Position. No, wait, what did I do here? Oh, there we go, dot A, that's why. What's going on here? Let me just copy paste this line. I think I spelled something wrong. I'm wondering. Okay, there we go. Um, so yeah, no, what this is doing is it's going to basically modulate one sprite, and then it's going to create another, or it's not going to create another sprite, we're going to do it somewhere else, but it's going to modulate the sprite from visible to invisible, and once it becomes almost invisible, or pretty much invisible, then it's just going to disappear. That's it. And we're also going to set the position to minus three. So it's going to be moving, right? So it's going to be moving backwards. Um, yeah, and and then it's going to queue free. Um, so let's go to player. Then let's in our dash. Keep in mind, this will only work for our X axis for now, but we'll figure that out later. Um, and then we're going to have some different variables that we're going to add. So let's um, comment out a little bit. So we have, this is going to be our dash. And we're going to have three different things. We're going to have our um, dash object, which is going to be the sprite that we just made. We're going to search up dash. We're going to preload, put it in brackets, 
make sure I don't do it wrong. There we go. And we're also going to have dash speed. This is going to be a thousand. And then we're also going to have dash length uh, will be 0 0.15 variable dash length. There we go. And then um, let me just double check my reference here. Oh, oh, oh. Where is it actually? Okay, here we go. Um, so when we click dash, we are going to All right, one second. Okay, um, so when we press dash, we're going to create our dash object. So dash node equals dash object dot instance. And then we will take our dash um, node dot texture. And we're going to do sprite dot get frame. Like a frame sprite dot animation at sprite dot frame and then dash node dot global position equals global position and then we will get parent dot add child dash node. Um, we also have to make sure we actually make it a variable. Okay, um, one other thing is the sprite is not actually um, set, so um, we will have to set that. So let me, let me just double check. Yeah, okay. Um, so we're going to say variable sprite is equal to get node am idle we'll do walk actually sorry walk there we go um let's go back down now let's play let's see what happens it's going to error why is that oh because oh, we have to do on ready on ready on ready variable i don't know what i'm doing I'm really tired apparently there we go i'll speed play play and when I, when I try to do that, it will kill me because this line is not going to work. Let's actually take this off for now because I just realized that's not an animation. It's just a regular sprite. All right. And so now when I dash, this happens. So it looks kind of funky. But um, this is kind of the beginning of how we're going to dash. Um, I'll kind of help or I'll kind of uh, finish this next video. But yeah, mm, actually, no, we'll, we'll keep going. Okay, so um, let's see. Yeah, so when we, um, when we dash, we want to also move our player's position. So to do that, we're going to use a tween. So we're going to go down here, add a tween. We're going to variable tween. One equals get node. Tween. Then we will. I'm just going to copy paste this line. I'm sorry, but it's a really long line. And tweening is very annoying. So basically, we're going to interpolate our position between one. There we go. Uh, we're going to get our position, and then we're going to move uh, 50 pixels to the right um, and then we're going to take 0 0.1 seconds and we're going to use translinear and ease out and we're going to start then i believe that is it um, dash. yeah let's let well, let's try that let's see what happens all right so now whenever i dash i go to the left and I, it does kind of look like a dash. In fact, if I were to just take this out, 
Oh, sorry, I have to actually go up. I can dash. Although I do have to be moving at the same time. So it's a bit strange, but it does kind of work. Um, so what we'll do is we'll actually change this position to um, no, actually, we'll leave it like this for now. I want you guys to try to figure this out. Um, I'll be honest, it's the end of the video. I'm very tired. Um, it's the end of the night here. Um, yeah, my brain is completely pooped out, but uh, I'm going to give this as homework, essentially, too, for you to figure it out. I'm going to copy paste this again. But um, essentially, we've created um, a node that allows us to look like a dash. However, this is only put one time. I want you to try to figure out how are we going to make it so that it looks like a bunch of dashes are together. And then how are we going to make our tween allow us to go in the direction that we're looking, essentially, and not just the left, right? Because I think at the moment, it's only allowing us to go to the left, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, there we go. Whenever I'm moving, to the right and that allows me to move to the left yeah anyways um i'll let you guys figure that out <laughs> so next video we'll finish the dashing um and then we will also um start our inventory so that'll be fun um and yeah so if you guys like this video give it a thumbs up and i will see you guys next time